what I told you, run out yeah. of gas. Yeah, I appreciate what you did. It was uh, Wins a win, you hear me? Wins a win, they too hard. You work too hard. When you win, you gotta get excited. Got something to say, 20? My apologies to the team and the fans. Uh, we messed up on that kickoff, and we're gonna uh, play smart. 4.0 GPA, ranked 10 in the class. Drop it. I dropped three. I dropped two punt returns. I can't turn. You ain't gotta worry about the punt returns anymore, son. <laughs> Wyndham's gonna be in there the rest of the year, baby. Hey, great game, defense. Thanks y'all for coming out there the second half and letting the offense do real work. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Great game. Call, call the shutout. Call the shutout. They got one first down in the second half. One. You hear me, Coach Graves? You got something? Eight o'clock, guys. I'm glad we found a goose that laid a golden egg up there. I wanted to see a lot more of those eggs. That's the first one. That's first first zeros we've had in a long time, and we still didn't play well the first half, right? We're not playing up to our potential for four quarters. We're playing two quarters at a time. If we get to where we play four quarters, we'll be okay. Touch somebody, Will. Where are you? You gonna lead us in prayer, Will? Touch somebody. I pray that you just be with us the rest of the season. Watch everybody home get home safe tonight. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Get it up! 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 Get Years ago, a young man wearing the Mustang green galloped onto the field to play the game that he loved more than anything. He was a player of very few words because his actions spoke louder than his words. Today, his players may say his words are much louder than his actions. Number 88 is our own, very own defensive coordinator, Coach Wayne Graves. Now, we're not going to start out flopping sides. If he starts giving you a lot of trouble, we'll start putting Dazman on 85. Okay. I'll bust him in the mouth. He won't give you no trouble. Going back. Hit. <laughs> my name is Wayne Graves. I'm defense coordinator at West Jones High School. Coach Wayne Graves does my defense for me. Does an excellent job. Probably the best coach in the state of Mississippi. Could have any head job he wanted, but he chooses to be an assistant. Beat him up. Beat him up. Keep working. Keep working. Keep working. Keep working. Keep working. You may beat me, but you won't outwork me. And that's all I try to do is try to work a little bit harder than everybody else does. I've been a football coach for 24 years. I've been coaching at West Jones High School eight years. He is an aggressive, defensive coach. Uh, Man, he have his kids well prepared. They run to the ball, they play hard. Every snap, you can expect a bruising, a uh, competitive game from West Jones defenders. If you meet him off the field, he's real reserved calm, collective, real humble. And then when the game starts, uh, probably by far, not even close, the most competitive person I've ever met in my life. No, there's not even a close second. He is a guy, I think, also that makes good adjustments during the game. He also has a great feel for the game. As the game's going along, he, he kind of gets into it and feels what you're trying to do, what you're trying to accomplish, and he tries to take that away from you. He fixed to run the football, gentlemen. Fix to run the football. What we got? That is That is you. There's no freaking bang on the block. None. This is the community that me and my family live in. And one of the biggest variables for me to accept this job is that I thought to myself, well, if I'm going to coach, I need to coach where my children are going to be in school. Get him up, baby. Get him up. Get him up. Baby, get him up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, Will. Come on, baby. Will was uh, getting up in the morning. I believe it was New Year's Eve, 31st. He was on his way up here to the field house at 7 in the morning to work out with our, our starters. He played tight end for us at the time. I don't know why, but I called his father probably 715, 720, which I never call him that early in the morning on holidays because I know he's in the woods hunting. And I called him about 720 in the morning and, and he's out of breath and he's running. Uh, 
And I said, what's up? He said, coach, I just got a phone call. My son's in a wreck. So I, I said, excuse me? He said, my son's in a wreck. And I, and I heard it was pretty bad. Come on, run. Fire me. Fire me. Fire me on the run. My wife called me. I was actually hunting at that time, and she just told me that Will had been in an accident, and the first words I said was, how bad? And she said, I don't know, they won't tell me, but just hurry to the hospital, and that's what I did. You know, first of all, you're hoping he's okay, and then you hurt, and you start wishing that maybe, you know, things will turn around and the prognosis is wrong, and you just, everything runs through your head. I mean, first you wanna make sure he's all right, you're in denial and you're hoping that it's misinformation. You're just hoping for the best. And, and it was so violent. Everything happened so fast that it's a whirlwind. It was in slow motion, but it was fast. And I don't know if that makes any kind of sense, but between your ears, it's moving so fast. But everything else, is, is, it can't happen quick enough. And, and you're just, you're, you're spinning out of control. And like I said, Coach Graves went into a coaching mode and now you're, what can I do? And everybody was in that state. What can we do right now to make this better or to make this go away or to fix it? And there's nothing you can do. I didn't, it didn't really sink in till, um, till I'd gotten out and I was actually like realizing it. Then I was just real uncomfortable because of all the things that were hooked up to me and uh, the, ventilator and I was just hurting because like my nerves were dying and everything was just burning so it's just mainly that. that that was all that was on my mind then Will at this present time has a C5 C6 uh, spinal cord injury and he is paralyzed from the chest now you worry about him not not Will so much as Wayne, because you know how he he takes things so personal. He you know he he takes the defeats in football very personal. He's a guy that really gets into it and is a, you know a very passionate. And so you worry about you know him physically. How is he gonna hold up to this? And and then mentally also. But uh, you know he's strong, so you know he'll be okay. But uh, yeah, you know it's tough. Will does not remember anything from the wreck at all. He just goes on what people have told him. Mary Margaret was the strong one in the whole thing, which I think a lot of people lose sight of that. She never wavered. She's a strong woman. And I think Wayne needed Mary Margaret to be strong because there was a time where he broke down. My wife is catching the blunt of having to carry Will to therapy every day, you know, taking care of Will at, at night, you know, where, because I may not get home to seven or eight or two or three in the morning, just depending on what night it is. As far as Mustang football, I don't, I don't know what else I would do. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not a mechanic, I'm not an electrician. I've been playing football since I was 10 years old, and this, this is all I know to do at the present time. George County this Friday night, first home game in our new stadium on the turf. Uh, we're really excited about that. Always a tough game. Great program at George County. Uh, played for a state championship two years ago in uh, 5A classification. Usually a big crowd, uh, a lot of atmosphere, uh, very energetic game. Mary Chapel gave us a, a lot of flexibility when he was on the field going from one defense to another without subbing. So now we have to bring in some other guys, in a couple of cases some young guys that don't have a lot of game experience, but we don't have a lot of depth on defense and we knew if we lost any of the guys that it was going to make a difference as to our play calling and, and what have you. So we just at that point now where we had to readjust and press on. Hold down till I come back.
If he never plays again, I mean, I'm a little emotional. Um, I mean, he's... Marion's a big part of our defense. He may be one of our smartest players that we've got on defense. Marion's the kind of kid you, you don't want to you don't want to be without. Not very long, anyway. Coming up to make the play for the War Eagles was Marion Chapman. If he doesn't play again, you know uh, I can handle it because I do have memories and um, I do know what he's capable of doing and what he can do. And I mean, I'm just proud of him. I'm afraid of disappointing my dad all the time. But me disappointing him is disappoints me, so I always try to make him happy so I can be happy. If the daughter tells me I can put on a brace and play, I will. I've had kids been able to play with a brace the entire season, and, and you know, they did fine. I've had others that uh, were not able to play with a brace, so a lot of it also is a mental part of it. Can they get used to the brace? Are they mentally, you know, tough enough to put the injury out of their mind and understand that, you know, everything's going to be okay? Tonight, you will witness history as the War Eagles host the first game ever on the newly installed EnviroTurf field. I decided I'll come back in two weeks, Stone County game. After physical therapy and a little more hard work, I'm going to be ready to play. First game at home, first game on a new field. Ain't no better way to break it in with a big victory now, OK? Tonight, it could be Coach Moore's 100 victory. It all starts with you all, okay? We know he has given so much of his time. We can't repay him, but hey, let's pay him tonight. Let's pay him with a, with a win, okay? Let's go, let's break it down, break it down. Hey, win on three, win on three. One, two, three, win! win. Once you graduate, that's all you have is the camaraderie and the memories. And he wants to really still have the memories of his senior year. After the wreck, there's posters where there's a will, there's a way, was a saying that they had given to it all around the school. His, his number is 18. 18 was everywhere. The way he's handled the situation and the inspiration he's given to the students and the community, I think is no better than being a football standout or anything like that. He's a spiritual leader, he's a leader on the football team, he's a leader in the classroom. Lauren Bradley, she's so special. She's, she has not wavered one moment since the accident. He's not just the boyfriend you go, and it's just all giggly butterflies. He's the best friend. I talk to him more than I do my own family. Who was just a funny guy. 
He um, always made me laugh, always brought that little smile out in me. His accident hasn't changed him at all. His body's just a little bit different, but that doesn't change Will. I've known Will 10 years. He's always been there for me. And anytime I needed somebody, lifted me up, and anytime that I got down, he was there for me. And I think he gets frustrated with not being able to do everything for himself sometimes. And I think a lot of us take it for granted just the daily things like walking. Anytime I get tired or, any, or just everything's not going our way, I just think of Will and think of the adversity that he pushes through every day. I still have that hope in the back of my mind that he's still gonna get up one day and walk. I couldn't ask for him to have any better friends than what he has, so he's extremely blessed. This big game for me, guy. This is a huge game. This one's for Will for us, you hear me? It's his first home game since the accident. This is a big game. And I want everybody playing at 150%, you hear me? You ready to play football? I see it. We locked in, we loaded. We ready to go, all right? What we gotta have now is wide open, full speed, playing with passion. It's homecoming, baby. It's the first game home. This is Will's night, you understand? You play with everything you got, every snap, every down, you hear me? In honor of Will and the number 18, friends of the Gray's family would like to honor Will by placing the number 18 in the upper left corner of the scoreboard as a continual reminder of what Will represents to the Mustang family each and every day of our lives. This is an honor to a young man who will continue to push the limits within himself to make us better people. We love you, Will, Wayne, Mary Margaret, and Sarah. And this is just a reminder of the continued support you will receive from the I'm so blessed to still have my son. That I, I'm fortunate every Friday night he gets to go out and be a captain. And I'm, I'm blessed to push him out in that chair and watch him go out on that field. And that is, to me, that's the highlight of the game. I think at times they'll look at Will and say, you know, hey, we need to enjoy life and, and enjoy these times we have because in a split second, you know, things can happen to you. And so I think it helps them keep them focused.